Aw. Man, you gotta get some better wind. I don't know. I think I'm just a better kite flyer. Yeah, you, you wanna try my kite? Oh yeah, sure. Wow, I think I'm getting the hang of this. It's finally flying. That's Are you the wizard of aerodynamics? Yes, I am indeed the wizard of aerodynamics! Can you teach me how to go home and fly this kite? I will teach you how to get home and fly that kite. Go! There's nothing to it. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. Good morning, Heart. I'm Emma. And I'm Lily. Today is Tuesday, January 16th. And today we are celebrating International Kite Day. Whether you're a pro at doing tricks with your kite or just enjoying watching them dance in the sky, today is all about celebrating this age-old tradition from around the world. So get ready to soar with us. We've got a show that's guaranteed to lift your spirits. So let's make this day as colorful as the kites in the sky. Please stand for the pledge. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's Mr. Dochemont with your Tuesday morning message. How about that three-day weekend, Hart? Right out of the gate for the spring semester, and you already have a short week. Last week, we started our January attendance drive. Here are our top first period classes after one week. Mr. Bailey in first at 98.6%, Mr. Cable right on his heels at 98.5%, and Ms. Crucy right behind that at 98.4%. It's a tight race. Pay attention to your attendance. Many others are close behind too. So remember, you have to be on time and present to first period, and the class with the highest percentage will get donuts on Groundhog Day, Friday, February 2nd. The following four students were carefully selected amongst many amazing candidates that applied and will be moving on to the interview with the American Legion in January. Those students are Eli Otten, Isabella Gallegos, Viviana Ramos, and Dylan Zamperin. One of these four finalists will be selected by the American Legion as our delegate to attend the highly esteemed Boys and Girls State Conference in Sacramento this summer. Congratulations on a job well done. Another job well done comes from our Student of the Week, Owen Rusk. Owen has been an invaluable member of the speech and debate team. Not only is he the president of the team, he has helped organize and run competitions on Saturdays, like the one last week we had at Hart. He is also a wonderful mentor for new members. Great job, Owen, and great job to all of you out there. The fall semester grades were outstanding. Now, juniors, let's focus your attention moving forward on the CASP test in April. Dotremont, out. Thank you, Mr. Dotremont. Here's Adrian with the weather. Hey, Hart, here's your weekly weather forecast. Today will be a high of 68 and a low of 39. It is going to be sunny. Tomorrow will be a high of 63 and a low of 42, and it is going to be cloudy. And on Thursday will be a high of 69 and a low of 45, and it's also going to be sunny. So it's overall pretty cold this week. I'm Adrian Vargas for Point for Hart TV. Back to you guys in the studio. Here is Hart ASB with some important information. Hi, I'm Brooklyn Fratale. I'm Devin Thompson. And we're your sophomore class presidents. On January 27th, there's going to be the Once Upon a Time Winter Formal, and the theme's going to be fairy tale themed. Please show up at 7 to 11. Tickets will be sold from January 15th to January 18th and will be $50 with an HP card and $55 without an HP card. And from January 22nd to January 26th, it will be $55 with an HP card and $60 without an HP card. And if you do not buy in advance, it will be $65 at the door. <laughs> the dress code is semi-formal and business casual. Hello, Hart. It's Miss Hernandez, your assistant principal over ASB. So, here's a couple things that I need you to know. 
you will be at the dance from 7 to 9. We will not let anyone leave until 9 o'clock because we love to see you all dressed up looking fly. And we also want to make sure that everyone is here and has positive attitudes, no um, under the influence of things that shouldn't be on campus because consequences will be dealt with. Thank you so much and back to you in the studio. We'll be right back after this. Hey Hart, I'm here to interview Miss Castorina about her entrepreneurship program. Hi Miss Castorina, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you for asking. Could you introduce yourself for us? Yes, of course, my name is Miss Castorena. I'm the new student support specialist here at Hart. What is junior entrepreneurship? Junior entrepreneurship is a after school program where you can use your creativity and your artistic skills to make profit. For example, what I mean by this is you can use your art into making shirts, hats, and shoes, or even other things and make profit. What role do you play in this? My role is to recruit students who are interested in junior entrepreneurship and who feel like they are creative and have amazing artistic skills. When is uh, junior entrepreneurship? Junior entrepreneurship will be launching February 6th. That will be our first after school program and it will be taking place from 3.15 to 4.45 p.m. every Monday and Tuesday. How do students join this program? So if you are interested, please come to room one in the counseling office um, and speak to Ms. Castorena and me. <laughs> Thank you for your time. No problem. That was Ms. Castorena about her entrepreneurship program. I'm Penny Regan from Heart TV. Now back to you in the studio. And now, the news. The Girls Across program will be having a fundraising event at Chipotle this Wednesday, January 17th from 5 to 9 p.m. Show them this flyer right here to make sure a percentage of sales go to our Girls Across team. Then, enjoy your food. Attention students, from Tuesday, January 16th through Thursday the 18th, we will be handing out open period stickers for spring. They will be available at the counseling office window at brunch and lunch only. Hey seniors, there are three very important things you should be working on right now. Number one, the FAFSA. The financial aid application is now open and due by April 2nd. The Canyons Promise application. If you are planning on attending COC in the fall, you should do this right away. Space will be limited. Get your application in immediately. And number three, the SCV Scholarship Foundation application. The application period is now open. With one application, you may be considered for more than 100 local scholarships. Scholarships range from $500 to over $6,000 and are awarded in the spring of 2024. Visit SCVS f.org to download the application. Applications must be turned into the counseling office no later than 3 p.m. this Friday, January 19th. Seniors, do not let these opportunities pass you by. Attention seniors, do you need assistance getting financial aid for college? There are going to be a series of financial aid information workshops in January and February where we can help you complete the FAFSA application. The first one will be a Zoom meeting on January 18th at 6 p.m. All the Zoom information is on the flyer right there. Tuesday, January 23rd and Tuesday, February 13th will be in-person workshops in the cafeteria at 6 p.m. Please see Ms. Trujillo in the counseling office for more information. Clubs. Speech and debate team meets today at lunch in Ms. Nishioka's room F43. Please attend. New members are always welcome. The Robotics Club meets today at lunch and after school from 3 to 5.30 p.m. in room C2. Now it's time for today's Quote of the Day. Kites rise highest against the wind, not with it. Winston Churchill. Well, that's it for our show. Have a great International Kite Day. And, and stay, stay classy, classy, heart. Who's